Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I'm still at the hotel. Woohoo! And I want to go do Zoe's quest. Heck, I've been trying to do that for like an hour. But I also want to go talk to Gaia about these seeds. Because I'd like to progress. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not working. I'd like to progress. Um, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Hang on, I have one of these too. Um, I'd like to progress whatever's going on in this facility. There. Let's see what we got. Thorn mush. It's not telling me which one is which. Also, my uh, controller is messed up, I think, from living in a box, and it drifts forward now, which is super awesome. Super love that. An excellent choice. Very nice. Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? It's me? What a nerd. Um... See, look at this. It's drifting. Nope. I think I already asked about these. This place. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality, should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout. Oh, out. frick. Maybe I gotta connect all the survey drones to unlock the facility fully. That sucks because that one in Las Vegas was just the worst. It was not letting me get it. I found some data in one of the rooms you unlocked. It mentioned that there are still functional seed banks beneath this facility. Why is it there? My predecessor was tasked with reconstituting the biosphere with primary and secondary plant species. Had everything gone according to plan, humans would have eventually been able to introduce tertiary species, including new crops. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it will have to wait. I require control over the machines in order to access and distribute the preserved seed stock. And for that we need a Festus. It's something to look into later okay, though. Okay, interesting. The facility will continue to grow along with us. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. Uh -huh. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated uh -huh. killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. Uh -huh. Yeah, not about freaking trying to save the world. He was just in it for the money. He saw a market, wanted to have a monopoly on it. Let's see. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into the new I territory. did do that, that DLC. I discovered another AI there. One not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project. And it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. Pretty sure we talked about this. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. 
Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. Well, at some point, we'll have to go over there and have a chit-chat and let her know that this one is nice. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost I'm gonna scream. the Apollo data. I'm gonna scream! However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. Mm. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. See, this is what confuses me a little bit. Is like she's like, I don't know anything because I don't have the Apollo database, and yet we're able to access a heck of a lot of stuff. Like at least the others are, um, the other like four who are learning over in the behind me, <laughs> they're able to access a bunch of information. So I'm a little confused. Also, I feel like we may have gone through some of these, but she says it's still exclamation points. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. I feel like we've talked about these already, so... Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. That's foreshadowing. She's definitely gonna have somehow end up coming with us. I also can't... I don't remember what Gemini is. I know she had a button I could ask about it. I'm gonna go back and ask about it. I'm bad. Can't keep track of all these things. So now that you have Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified and soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus, then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. Clawback era version two. How's Katalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him, though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to assist in his recovery, should he be interested. Heck yeah. Really? I'm sure he will be. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have a workaround. Yeah, she filled me in. Sounds promising. Anything else? Laurel and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. Yeah, no. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. All right, I think that's all. What was it? No. Nope. 
So now no, you're no, no, no. third. In the local region, Dang. conditions have improved. Soup and so these in four. Well, then I you'll thought I saw something for reverse. Gemini, but. Mm. I'll be on my oh, way. Oh, well. I wish you safe travels. Thanks, Mom. All right, let's go help Zoe. I feel like most of that was redundant. I apologize if it was. Or if it wasn't, and I'm like totally missing out on other dialogue things. See, the thing is, with the reason why I want to do the. I was thinking, sorry, I was thinking about personal quests. And uh, the reason I want to do the bandit camps is because somehow they seem like they're going to tie in with Erend. Um, and so, so far we have a quest for Zoe and Kotalo, but we don't have anything for Varl, and we don't have anything for Erend. Um, and maybe those will come later, uh, but. Man, this game's gorgeous. Oh, what? Did Zoe put this here? This is very nice. I think she must have. Yeah. It's Zoe's doing all that. This is so nice. Freaking, she just does, she does so much. She doesn't need to, but she does. I feel like the men should do something. So this is a little frustrating. They just kind of, they don't do anything. Oh, shoot. I am, oh, I guess. Oh, there's a question mark. Question mark. I already did that. What that? Oh, yeah, that's the... Okay, let's go. As far as I know, this shouldn't be hard. Uh, because... I think they're, um... In... What is the word? Not incapable. In... What is the word I'm thinking of? Um... In Ill indisposed? They're indisposed. <laughs> um, but she did say that one of them's in a dangerous canyon. And one of them is in a herd of machines. What is going on? Why? Look, I just want to... I just want to friggin' go get some machines. What? Oh, good. Oh, good. I don't think I can override Apex. Holy moly. Um, let me see. I need to go find a better sling. That's something I need to buy. I only I have two slings and they're both green. I don't have any I don't have any other kinds of slings. Need to fix that. Why? Why are you the apex one? Oh, it's a rebel one. Wow, this is, this is, this is bad. Do I have a machine I can call? Nope. Who is shooting arrows at me from over there? I'm just not gonna get involved with this. Goodbye. Yeah, I am. Oh, this is the one I remember, and there was the shrine that I didn't know what was what was about, what it was all about. That's right. I think I was here a while yeah. ago. Yeah. Before Zoe told me about her plan. Yes, I what? I remember. Now I can get. This must be the dangerous canyon one. Let's take a look. There. Oh, up on that ledge. I'm up to that land, God. Easy peasy. No problemo. There's another dilly walk there. There's another. It looks like this oh, one's been here for a while. Vine. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the Oh, way. there's a bunch of vines. What? Where well, there's vines? There's a metal flower. I just have to find it. There. Yeah. The flower. The 
If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. Uh, um... But I'll have to find a way up there. Well, uh, there's one over there. And there's one over there. I don't see a way... Yes! <laughs> I was hoping I could reach it. Hmm. This'll make a good die. Should be able to access that cable. Stuff, goodies for me. I hope this helps me. Treadway. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. It must have dropped the flowers and then crashed. Oh. That's scary. Okay. It looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. Oh, um, over there? Um... I'd like to think I can jump and get that, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Nope. Okay. I am not sure. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, well, let's just jump backwards. No, I don't know how to jump backwards. Nope. Of course there's three, right? You can't just have two. There's gotta be three. Some of the vines are gone, but the land god's still trapped. Yeah, well, the already can see the other one. I'm trying to see if more path is opened up. Ugh, there's something up there. Wee. Maybe that was at the cave I... Oh, look at this. Oh, this was, this was that one set of vines I just did. Oh, jeez, that scared me. The lights went out, and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, good thing that torch auto lights. It's great. Um, hmm, I don't know. Now I just need to get rid of these vines. And of course, a dreadwing is going to pop up 100%. Another one is going to pop up. Guaranteed. This is not going to be easy. That's better. Time to get this code installed. Yeah, well, where did the where did the purple thing go? The purple chest down there. Oh no no no! Yes, got it. Did I get it? Oh, I don't think I pressed it fast enough. Dang it! I could probably just do it from here. It'd probably easier. Break my fall. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, it doesn't really want me to access it apparently. That's fine, I don't care too much. Unless it has a weapon in there. Oh, sometimes they have weapons. Dang, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do now. No, oh, I had an easier time of doing it from the higher up place. Oh well. Let's do this. Oh, it's still like- I mean, I know it's still alive, but I can hear it. This will help you get better. You gonna be gonna make it, little buddy? One down, two to go. It maybe takes a minute. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. 
Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right, then. I'll head to Plainsong and deliver the code to the land gods there. <laughs> Zoe is so awesome. I love how, like, connected she is to, like, her belief system. Even knowing like, what she knows about the pe- about, like, the past and the future now. Oh, they're still fighting. Um, like, she still calls them the land gods, and, like, she still, uh, no recognizes- What was this? What is this? Um, their- their importance, like, it's not just their importance as, like, uh, what do you call it, um... She sees them as cultural, like, affiliations, essentially, is how, is how I see it. Like, and not just for the practicality of they are what help her people survive, because they do, but, like, she has all these cultural nuances and affiliations with them, and, like, personal and, and, and ethnic group, essentially-wise, you know? And so she still values them. And their history and their their presence with her people, their presence in their history and their beliefs, you know, which is interesting. I like that. And like Varl was like, "Ready, just get new ones." But she's like, "There's a there's a history here with these with these creatures, for our people. We're not just gonna give up on them now. We're not gonna give up on our belief systems, like essentially, like on the core of what makes us Utaru or whatever, you know." So that gives me hope for. Um, future interactions with people the Tanakh or like future future what do you call it like um like how things will work out for each cultural group learning the new things that they're gonna learn you know like you can modify you don't have to lose everything you don't have to be like oh well now we're gonna throw it all out the window you know you can still keep those things that like make you that made your people in the past and continue to you know affect the way you do things in the present and the future so anyway that's my little soliloquy, and I'm just really happy that there's... <laughs> I don't have to feel like I'm just gonna, gonna throw them into an age of skepticism immediately. Some people probably will, but... I'd like to think that the cultural groups and their unique takes on the, worlds, on the world will, uh, will remain in some way. <laughs>